The secret's out, none of this was actually here. This is the original image. What's going on everyone? We're here with another Adobe Photoshop tutorial. And this video is gonna be all about adding objects, adding things to your images using generative fill AI tools in Adobe Photoshop. Now this is all done with the Adobe Photoshop beta. So you wanna make sure you're using that application if you're in Photoshop. If you're in the regular Photoshop, you won't have access to this tool here, this toolbar, the generative fill. That's what's gonna make this work. Now, if you haven't seen my previous video on how to remove objects from an image, it's a very similar technique to this. You can check that out on my channel as well. But this video is all about adding objects to an image. So our first example here is this beautiful shot of a landscape with a cabin. Well, the secret's out. None of this was actually here. So I'll slowly remove these elements, the weeping willow, the cobblestone pathway, the wooden cabin, and of course the pond. None of that was there. We're gonna just get rid of it all. This is the original image. It is just a, uh, a grassy landscape, a meadow, if you will, with some trees in the background. So let's give this a shot. Let's create something new here. So I'm going to start uh, just using the lasso tool. And I think we should have a big pond in this part of the image. So I'm just gonna draw around where I want the pond to roughly be. And with the generative fill tool, all I have to type in is what I wanna create. So let's say a pond, just very simple. And we'll let that generate. And the generative fill tool is gonna to actually create a couple of options for us to choose from. It's This is really super easy. There's not a lot of complexity to this, just selecting areas and then choosing options. So you can see we now have three options here. We have this one, this one, and I don't know what that is. That one's a little bit funky. You could generate again if you wanted more options, but we'll go with this one. I like that. It's a nice, got a really nice reflection of that tree and everything. And then over here, maybe we add some mountains in the distance. So we'll just add some mountains here. And really with this type of, let's see, um, mountains in the distance. With this type of tool, you can just have fun with it. There's so much you can create to create a totally different image there's a lot of fun, and in a separate video, I'll actually show you how you can use this tool to make videos uh, go from vertical to horizontal or horizontal to vertical. That's how you'll see a lot of those trending videos of people actually adding um, or, or making like a video appear as though it was vertical. It's pretty cool what you can do. So here we have some mountains in the background. I don't love those telephone lines, so let's choose a different one. We'll go with this one. And then finally, why don't we just add a cabin in the foreground, and we'll just put that right here. We'll say a wooden cabin. So let's see what they give us for a wooden cabin. I don't love the look at that one. That one feels a little fake as well. That one's a little bit in the distance, but I don't hate it. So if we didn't like any of these options, we could say generate again, and it'll give us three more options. So here's a couple more options. Interestingly, standing on um, pillars here, but that's what we have. That's an example of what we can do with the generative generative fill. So let's head over to another image. You can see we have this beautiful image of a road with ruins and snow-capped mountains here. Now, what do you think off first grasp isn't real in this image? Well, let's start eliminating things. I had a little fix in the road right here. That's not real. The castle ruins, not real. The car, not real. And actually the snow on the mountains, not real. So those are totally fake mountains. Now I'll give you an example of what we did here to make this happen to get the snow-capped mountains. Again, I just circled them and typed snow-capped mountains and let that generate. So there's not much more to the tutorial. That's it. It's the Adobe Photoshop beta, the generative fill tool. A lot of people have videos about this, but I wanted to make sure that I made one to show you how fun and creative you can get with these types of things. And just to close it out, let's have a little bit of fun and just say, let's put a bouncy house right here, just to show you how crazy we can get bouncy house. So like the video if you enjoyed, subscribe to the channel for more, and we'll be sure to check you back in the next one. And there we go with our big bouncy house. Look at that. It looks like it was there the whole time. All right. Thanks, guys. We'll check you back in the next one.